Hi, Dave Spalding, Handgun Combatives. In a previous video, we talked about the appendix inside the waistband carry and its growing popularity, mostly due to the outstanding holster designs that are actually being made for that mode of carry. Well, what did we use inside the waistband holsters for prior to that? Well, they were worn around on the back on your hip, back here in the, in the natural hollow. As you can see, it's very, very easy to conceal uh, they ride back there pretty comfortably, and I carried my service pistols this way for decades. And as a matter of fact, I now have this kind of a dead spot on my hip that makes this very uncomfortable, and I don't do it anymore, but it is a viable position in order to carry your particular pistol. Now, this is where you see a lot of the, you need to have an inside the waistband holster that you can put the gun back in. The mouth needs to stay open, it doesn't collapse. That's where all that comes from. So in the event you draw the gun and you need to put it away, you can do that easily. Um, the downside of this mode of carry with the square front garments or the closed front garments that are now very, very popular is that it requires a little bit more reach in order to, to pull it up. If you were carrying appendix, you would merely grab right here, you would pull up and you would draw it. But if you try to do that here, as you can see, you actually hook the grip because what we have here is a hook. As you try to pull the garment up, it snags underneath the grip and now you run the, the problem or the potential of coming out with a handful of clothing, which as you could see would be disastrous in a gunfight. So if you're going to use your off hand to draw, you've got to come all the way across. You've got to pull up into your armpit in order to clear the garment to get it out. Now, in the previous video, I told you that it was a really good idea to have a one-hand garment removal technique in the event that uh, you're fighting someone, pushing someone out of the way it's occupied in some fashion. Well, in that particular type of scenario, Back here on your hip inside the waistband is a lot easier to do because as you can see, you can lift the garment, you can draw it out, you can get the gun into a fighting position a lot easier than you can with appendix. And when I mean easier, I'm talking about garment removal. So the reason I bring this to your attention is because if you want to carry inside the waistband, yep, yeah, there is the appendix carry but around the back on the hip is still very viable. It's still very fast and it can be very, very comfortable with the right holster, the right weapon, and the right training. But it really doesn't matter which mode you carry. You know what? If you're a 34 waist and you're wearing a perfect 34 trouser, you're not gonna be able to put an inch and a half or two inches of gun and holster down the front. You're gonna to have to give yourself some room. So you're gonna to need to get those trousers maybe a little bit bigger, and you're gonna to need to have a belt that'll adjust out a little bit and give you room. So um, inside the waistband carry, whether it's appendix or around on your hip, is a very, very viable way to conceal a full-size service pistol under fairly light clothing, or heavy clothing, if you're in Ohio right now at this time of the year. So um, choose your equipment wisely, get trained, and once you pick a carry location, stick with it. Don't be moving around a lot. It's going to create what they call muscular confusion as you try to figure out where your gun is. Dave Spalding, Handgun Combatives, thanks for checking in.